Hello everyone, this is JPO, and today I'm joined with... Right. And today we'll be reacting to a trailer. Yeah, so the Mandalorian trailer just kind of uh, popped up mm -hmm. on our feed. So, just dropped. Yeah, just dropped literally about two minutes ago. And we're going to be taking a look at it. So what do you know What do you know about the Mandalorian? So far, I've tried to keep myself in the dark. Okay. So um, this is going to be a clean slate to draw on right here. Yes, all I know is the leaked footage from the Star Wars Celebration and any just other news about that, so... Yeah. Yeah, we have a trailer here. More the first Mandal still's looking good. Oh, the fr yeah, the first shot is looking great. Anyway, let's just get started in 3, 2, 1, click. Ooh. Oh. That's intense. It's beautiful. Let's do our ear thing. Huh? And they're, they're using a practical ship. Oh, that's fine. Appreciate that. Yeah. This is looking good. Oh. The visuals, definitely. Yeah. Dialogue. Oh. Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. <laughs> Ooh. Are dumb. Don't you agree? November 12th. Give it to me now. That's... <laughs> that's... As, as I was watching that, like, my smile just got bigger and bigger. I, I know. It looks like some quality Star Wars. I, I know. It's, I believe, eight episodes long. Okay. Um, They put a lot of money into it, different directors into it. Um, I'm going to try and do this thing here. Uh, so, we'll be, you, we'll be with you in a second. All right, now I should be recording this screen. Let's, um, all right, let's, so here's the first shot here of our, of our lovely skulls of the... Seems like somebody doesn't like stormtroopers very much. Yes. Let's see. It's just accentuated a little more when we get this next shot. Yeah. And, you know, they're been brutalized the way of the Ewok. You know, just mercilessly. <laughs> yes. Ah, this thing goes by. Ten seconds. So, let's... We the Lux Film logo. And, you know, there's this beautiful ship here hmm. that at the celebration panel, they talked about how they went back and shot this the way they did the original series, where they had mm. this model moving. That's really cool. Uh, and they actually have lights uh, on the model to make it go by. And I, they were just so cool that they're. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, and they're going back to old practical effects because they they work really well mm -hmm. in something like this. And they look really good. Yeah, the, they gotta use their CGI for something else. Uh huh. We're on a planet here. Don't know what it is. Um, all the production value here is amazing. Yeah, and this shot Just right looking here. At every, like, look at all these details. All these details here. I, what ship is that? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this looks great. Like you can hardly tell. You can hardly tell it's a TV show. Mm -hmm. Maybe a tiny bit here and there. But Definitely a good thing that this thing's getting funded by Disney. 
it's getting funded by Disney. Yeah. We have a different director in each episode. All, uh, mm-hmm. you know, with John Favreau in charge. You know, you know, beautiful. Like, yes, he's made some good stuff. Yes. Uh, here. Put down credits. Get credits. We got that guy there. Uh, we have this beautiful sand looking planet. Um, all these landscapes are beautiful. This actually might look like Florum. Yeah. From Clone Wars. The where Hondo. Because mm -hmm. uh, there's one episode with Ahsoka and Asajj and, and uh, no. Ahsoka and Aura sing. And they went through these tiny, they went through the mm -hmm. cavern-like thing. So this, I don't it's know. Possible. It could be possible, but it could be something kinda else. kind of looks like a blown-up image of tiny cracks in the desert. Yeah, I was thinking that, too. They might have done that as well. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Putting on armor. Yes, yeah, suiting up. Here we got our secondary main character. Don't know much about her. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we got... I love these creatures. Yeah. That Is that looks... not riding him? I don't like those creatures. Those are my least favorite. Anyway, maybe that looks practical. Looks uh -huh. like that's an animatronic right there. But it still looks and, good. And then we got Twi'leks. Purple. Yeah. I don't think we've seen a primary purple Twi'lek before. Primary? Um, I think we have. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, attack of the Clone movies here. Uh, Majority of them are And here's, here's the poster yeah. shot. Yeah. Of him walking, he likes to walk. Somebody. And then we have Death guns. Troopers. Yee. Um, you know. Just looking at the details of their weapons. Yeah. You can see the heat. The thing, um, has seared the front. The thing about the, the stormtroopers in this show mm -hmm. is that they, you know, they didn't have the uh, ability to just make all the stuff, so they just. Right. I heard they they asked the they the five uh, first. They asked the five will first to come in. And do this, and so all the stormtroopers. That's are really fun. Yeah, because because they're very detailed in how they make their costumes yeah. and how they do things, and so it's really cool that fans just got to be a part of this TV show. Mm hmm. And it looks like a Mexican standoff here. Um, this is a guy from. That's racist. <laughs> Shush. Yeah. Uh, he he's a an actor who was in the Breaking Bad. Yeah. And such. Wonder what his role will be. And I like the just the clean silver helmet. Yeah, I think it looks good. Looks good. Uh, you know, I kind kind of wish there could be a bit more gruff. Yeah. On it to make it more weathered. Yeah, weathered down like the mm -hmm. chest plate is. I think because it doesn't have paint on it, you wouldn't see as much scratches. On I guess it. so. And I guess he values his helmet. Mm -hmm. And there's the Boba Fett old blaster from the original series. Mm -hmm. Boba Fett. N up. Uh, uh, in the holiday special. Oh, um, right, right. His gun. I was say. Uh, don't know what that is. Either a ship or a weapon or... Uh, we got something falling from it. Yep, yeah, there's a speeder here. This doesn't look like someone we've seen before. No. Ah, oh, yes, walkers. Yeah, ATSTs. My favorite. Uh, which is cool. I don't know what they're... Doing the situation could be probably terrorizing the villagers. They tend to do that. Uh, actually, it looked like it didn't look like stormtroopers because they were running with sticks in their hands. So maybe um they took the walker, perhaps, or something. Pulled a Wookie. It also <laughs> note that this is like taking place after Return of the Jedi. Okay, right. I I believe. Ah. So. Any stormtroopers would be or, remnants or yeah, working towards the First Order? Yeah, working towards the First Order. I think that's the case, that they're, uh -huh. this is after the Return of the Jedi. Maybe filling in some holes. Mm -hmm. so there are holes to be filled in, in the plot line. Anyway. I mean, if you read the books, you know what happens. No one reads the book. No, I'm just kidding. Some people read the books. Many people don't. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we hear... Is this IG-88 or uh, another assassin droid? I think it's another assassin droid. I think okay. it's IG-11. Okay. I believe. It could be 88. I don't know. So that, fun to see. That's a cool shot. And that's a puppet. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, and here we get more of this beautiful thing. I don't know what that second ship is. Uh, <laughs> he's blasting away. And Looks that's like it's going to have plenty of awesome action. Yeah. It's going to be nice. 
And yeah, and you know, it's just really cool. I think this could be CGI or uh -huh. part of it is a puppet uh, or something. But that's just, this is cool. Bounty hunting. I wonder who this guy is. Oh, and you, there, there is a core in uh, a species from the prequel trilogy. That's right. And I'm glad that they brought this in. Or were they part of the original trilogy as well? Um, I can't think of any time they shown, but that doesn't mean they weren't. An underwater species. Oh! Oh, yeah. Right there. I guess we don't really see the details or something. And this... Someone stuck in carbonate. Yeah. What do you, what do you think it looks like? I think he's transporting bounties. Hmm? This looks kind of like the demon-looking guy from the from episode four in the cantina. The devil. It's hard, hard to tell. The devil-looking guy. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. It's chains down. Just looking at the clothing. Yeah. It's hard to tell with it's the hard. angle of his face. We can't see the shape of his head. Could be a weak way. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. It's Hondo. Got kind of like a <laughs> aviator jacket on. Yeah. No, uh, that that these two things up here just made me think of a Doctor Who villain. Oh yeah, uh, it's not the Doctor Who villain, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I can't really tell. And then here's the title card with him walking. It's a good title card. It's a good title card, and this is our brand new trailer. Mm hmm So what do you think? Well. It looks like it's going to be some quality Star Wars, like I said. Yeah. And visually looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, definitely is going to have a lot of high action, exciting fight scenes. I hope so. Um, from uh, what we see there. Imagine which is, it, imagine is what it. we want from a Bounty Hunter TV series. Imagine you know? if it's mostly just dialogue. That was, <laughs> I, I'm assuming they know they couldn't get away with that. They could. Well, they maybe could, cause you're in Star Wars. You have people in costume, dialogue. I mean, you can definitely have some, but unless you have those action pieces, which it seems like we have, we've seen some we shootouts, have... we've seen some fi uh, space fights. Yeah. So we've seen some walker chases. So mm -hmm. there's definitely going to be plenty of action here to um, to break into. Yeah, probably nothing in the big grand scale of the movies mm -hmm. or the Clone Wars, which is coming out in February. So sad. February. Have to wait till February to see more Clone Wars. February. It's too long. Too long. Oh. It was supposed to be this year, I think. That's sad. February. I've just been... We, we've been waiting ever since they announced they'd be making more. And it's been too long. Yeah, they, they announced it over a year ago. Yeah. Uh, since last Comic-Con. Oh, did you see that Ewan McGregor may be doing uh, an Obi Wan Obi Wan thing? series? Uh, we don't know. Uh, Nothing official yet, but no. I mean, they could have announced this thing at the panel. That's true. We didn't watch the panel. Of it. No, I don't know. We yeah, we just got on to the place and. Uh, but was... they couldn't have anyone else do Obi Wan. No, uh, they could try, but it it wouldn't. Wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same. I mean, James Arnold Taylor, you know, he's good, but he's a voice actor. Yeah. And so that's where... Also, Ewan McGregor has been asking to play Obi-Wan for so long. Yeah. So. I mean, you, you, Ewan McGregor. I'm, I, think, I think these Disney series will definitely... I think they'll, they'll measure up. Yeah. Um... At least production value, we know they're going to be good. Visuals are amazing. Um, with John Favreau at the helm, it's going to be kind of hard to mess this up. Yeah. Because all you really have to do is show bounty hunters being cool. <laughs> so. Oh, I guess this is confirmed. Okay. Scripts are written. Shooting begins next year in the Kenobi project. Um, oh, and it is. I don't think. I'm not sure if that's like an act. That's from an older. Could be in episode three. <laughs> Mm, yeah, maybe. I don't know. That might... Because I think that... I don't know. I don't know. 
But There's an image of Ewan McGregor from Disney, so... Uh, yeah, next season will be... The corners will be in February still. Oh, well. Still, lots of Star Wars to be excited for. Yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping Episode Nine will... Yeah. Break my expectations. Yeah, Obi-Wan so. is back. So that's confirmed, it seems. Um, so yeah, I- I'm glad to get that. Um... I don't, I don't know. So, yeah, I hope this is good. Um, I know that I definitely will be getting the Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. Six ninety nine is the starting price. That's not bad. That's not bad. And I think if you pay twelve ninety nine, you can get Hulu and something else. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I don't, Sounds like a good deal. I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not. I, I think that might be just a rumor, but if that's the deal... Mm-hmm. And then we're also going to get some Marvel as well as Star Wars. Yeah, and then Marvel, sure Star Wars, um, some Fox, some National Geographic. For, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, actually, you know, there's a, there's a quick thing here, that, which we sorely is what they have for us. So we, we can have the Disney movies. We can have the TV shows with Marvel, mm-hmm. the Marvel movies. Um, we can have a lot here. And is going to be this great and fun thing. Mm-hmm. I think eventually streaming services are going to get stretched too thin and people are going to want to consolidate it again. But for now, I think Disney... Um, like, everything used to be on one streaming service. Like on Netflix. On Netflix, yeah. Um, um, as you spread them out into each different property having their own service, it's going to get like too spread thin to, uh, to get them all. I think people will realize that soon, but... I, I think mean, Disney having its own, Disney's big enough that it makes sense. DC has their own streaming service, however, they're still connected with Netflix. Yeah. Where they can switch and which one gets fun. So DC could have the Dark Knight for a month, Netflix will have it for a couple months. Mm-hmm. Uh, they will switch around um, with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but Netflix, uh, I still love Netflix because they have a, good, a lot of good original yeah. content and they have Star Trek. <laughs> oh yes so we're watching uh, yeah, I've been watching that so um, that's that's fun and enough let Netflix has a lot of older things I enjoy oh yeah um, Disney properties of Netflix will definitely be moving out yeah Clone Wars is left probably won't see those Marvel movies up there anymore but no <laughs> um, um, I don't know we still have the you know the Netflix universe of the Marvel Netflix right yeah, we still got that. We got the Stranger Things, and then the Netflix original movies that recently came out. Mm-hmm. Were they working with Nickelodeon and stuff? So yeah, Netflix. They, they this could be like a, a downfall type thing. Yeah, maybe because if the Disney streaming service is that cheap, mm-hmm. Netflix might be losing some stock. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I hope Netflix doesn't can't doesn't shut down because it's still good. But um yeah, it's gonna be nice to focus on Disney streaming service and yeah. I will buy it and you will watch it with me. So to sum up, the Mandalorian might be good enough to blow Netflix out of the water. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh so yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye.